The Thai Faki is a small group of people with their rich culture, heritage, and traditions, originally from the Hao Kong Valley of North Myanmar. They are now found living in Dibrugarh and Tinsukia district of Upper Assam and also along the Assam Arunachal boundary in Arunachal Pradesh. They migrated to the region around the year 1775. There are six groups of Thai people and the Fake group is one of the six groups. The Fake group, it migrated to Assam about 200 years back and the people, they have started living just on the bank of river Dihing. There are two villages of the Fake people in this area and from ethnological point of view they are of the Mongoloid uh, group and from the point of view of culture we see that though they have a very rich and colorful traditional culture of their own it has been enriched by the culture that they have confronted here in Assam uh, from the time of their migration. So gradually we see that these people, they have become a part of the Assamese people here in Assam. The Fake people, they are Buddhist in religion and in nature we see that these people are very much amiable in nature and most of the people they are agriculturist and the culture they have been preserving in their own household it indicates how they have been possessing and they have been carrying a rich colorful heritage of their own especially they are very much rich in handicrafts and we see that the language they speak is very much akin to the Khamti speech and other speeches of the tribe groups also. The villages in Dibrugarh district are Namfake and Tipamfake, situated on the bank of Buridihing River and those in Tinsukia district are Borfake, Nanmomuk, Nonglai, Longgao, Nigam Sayakung, Faneng, and Monglang. Amongst these villages, Namfake village is the biggest with 75 houses. The Fakes, wherever they are, share the common custom, tradition, culture, religious beliefs, and belong to the same ethnic group. There are several Thai Fake villages in Arunachal Pradesh along the boundary. Immigrating from the Hao Kong Valley from Myanmar, they started to live in the region of Nongtao now in Arunachal Pradesh. The Taifake people no longer live there as they have started to live in a new village. It may be mentioned that they have been living along the boundary of the two states for the last two centuries.
We, the Thai Fake people, live in the state of Assam, India, and are living peacefully. Long ago, when Sir Khan Pa reigned Meng Mao, the Thai Fake people migrated from Meng Mao and made Meng Kong their home. Chao Tai Seo was a leader. Later, when the land of Meng Kong was taken over by Burma, the Thai Fake people migrated further and thus entered Assam. Assam was then called Vaishali by the Thai Fake people. When Chao Tai Seo established the Fake principality, there was a Pha Ke. Pha means a stone wall, Ke means old. Thus, the name Pha Ke. Pha Ke Yang Wai. Lai Pu Chiu Nan Se Ma Pin Kun Pha Ke. Wai Lang Nan Mu Man Ho. Years later, when the Man Army invaded Assam, there were Thai officials in the army. Having seen their kin, they asked them to leave for the early home. The Fake people having decided to leave, left with the Man officials till Namchik, but due to very heavy rainfall, they could not cross the rough terrain. When the British took over Assam, the Thai Fake moved downhill to Margareta and established the village of Inthong. In the passage of time, they moved and made home nine villages to call their own. Thus, we are living in the state of Assam. Mulam is a prominent Thai Fake village located at about five kilometers from the small city of Lido. Mulang village is culturally rich and religiously a very sacred one. By religion, the Thai Fake people are Buddhist and they have adopted this religion long before they migrated to northeast India. The monuments and relics found in the villages and monasteries, the religious ceremonies and rites remind us of the glorious Buddhist culture and traditions. When they follow Buddhists, it, it, is, it is a matter you should know. They will become Buddhists about what they call 2,500 years ago. They become Buddhists. Then what they are still they are had Buddhists. That's why they are still what they call nothing fighting, nothing what they call any what they call a garden with what they are with other what they call people now. Also, they are never what they call, also they still they are what they call following what government law, what, what they are listening what government law, they are uh, they stay according to constitution of India. No? That's why, how is the Buddhist, is the Buddhist foundation is there is a pike canon. No? Person don't kill any alive, life, don't steal anything from other people. This is second. Then third, don't Spoil, don't disturb them to other family. This is the third. Then poor, what um, don't cheat them to other people. Then five, hmm, don't drink, don't take any under seeds. Hmm, that man what go, which you eat, what go, then you are being become what you like mad. This five canon is in the foundation of a Buddhist. No? Time people still following this um, five canon. If anybody offer 
and follow that what your five karma, then our universe will be peaceful, definitely. They are what your generation by generation, they follow the Buddhists. No? That's why among them, they are very peaceful, they are very simple. No? Still, their language is no loss, no? they are speaking no loss, they are writing, they are alphabet, no loss, no? they are religions, so no loss. No? Every Taifake village has a Buddhist monastery with statues of Lord Buddha. Relics, monuments, pagoda and Buddhist scriptures. The monk in charge of a monastery is called Vante. The Vante of Maulang Monastery is Yugunavanta Mahathero. He has been smoothly running the monastery for the last half century and he has been doing his best to spread Buddhism and its culture. He is also the chairman of the North East Monks Association. He is respected and revered by all for his exceptional personality, piety and humanistic attitude. This is the reason why people from all strata of the society, irrespective of caste and creed, visit the monastery and seek his blessings. Because of his piety, sacrifice and humanistic attitude, the Monglan monastery has almost turned into a place of pilgrimage and also a center for Thai culture along the Assam Arunachal Pradesh border. The Thai Faki people gather at their monastery twice every month for collective prayer. Once on the full moon night and then again on the night of Amavasya. The prayer is chanted in their own language and their collective prayer in their language is called Tomtra. The villagers never miss to take part in it on these occasions. They also celebrate some other religious festivals. The Buddhist monastery plays an important role in the festivals celebrated by other Thai people as well. คนไตพะเกเฮาคนกําพราลูกแค่ลงมามือมึงมาตัวจึงไหนเขาพลาดร้าเนี่ยกําเสมาสูไลกวนไหนเนี่ยกูกัดกัดเตมานเขาปฐ
they perform all the household works activities such as guest reception looming cooking prayers etc in the chankar even cleaning religious ceremonies and rites are performed inside it the traditional pictorial attire is another symbol of the rich thai culture they themselves make their own dresses on their own traditional handloom the garment worn by thai fakir women is called chin the special colorful dress worn by the married women is called nangwat the young girls wear a white dress called fafok the sheet of cloth worn by men folk on the waist to cover the lower part of their body is called fa their own language particular food habit with particular cooking method traditional handloom all are the glorious symbols of the rich thai culture Hundreds of books written in the Thai language are preserved in different monasteries. They have a special custom of presenting books written in their own language during the festivals. It is a unique cultural trait found only among the Thai Fakir people. Nijor gonona anukori teluke According to the Thai date and calculation, on certain days and months, we do not do any auspicious events like marriage, etc. Even though the Thai Fakhi people are the believers of Lord Buddha, Buddhism we have certain animistic beliefs. We believe in Chosew, 
according to which every eight days we do not indulge in heavy works like those involving land for two days. We also have our own practice of medicine for healing, which have lessened due to the coming of modern amenities. Modern amenities I say treatment I say The Thai Fake have also their traditional oral literature and the most important of them are different kinds of folk song, different types of prayers, blessing idioms and proverbs, among others. These songs have definitely enriched the life of the Thai Faki people. They have also a unique cooking method for which they use distinct kind of utensils. They cook food by steam or by placing them near the fire. Food is served in a special wild leaf known as kopat. This is known as khao hu. This special method of cooking and serving food has become widely popular among other people also.
Saifaki, a small ethnic group of people living in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh for the last two centuries. Their population has not increased as expected. At present, the total population is about 2,000. They have kept intact their rich cultural heritage and have not given to outward show. And so-called ultra-modernization is far from the Taifaki. With the passing of time, they have made more strong their racial consciousness. Definitely, this racial sense or consciousness will keep them alive for centuries to come.